Welcome. Parenting Tuesday is now on air. Tuesday ni siku yetu wazazi. Songesha kiti karibu na TV ama karibu na radio. We have an interesting conversation we want to get into. Anger management for parents. Are you an angry parent? <laughs> Most of us would say no. I think the people to ask is our children. Uh, they can tell us whether we are angry or not. I have two amazing ladies in studio today to help us with this conversation. We have uh, Pastor Edna Kimani, pastor at Karura Chapel. She's also a marriage and family uh, therapist. Amen. Good morning. It's good morning. It's good to have you on the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. We also have a child counseling psychologist, Esther Kinuvi. Esther, how are you doing? Oh, well, thank you. Karibu sana. Asante. Niko na swali. Mm. I was thinking about this earlier yeah. Yeah, because I used to see this a lot when we were growing up. When your parents would come home, especially your dad, I remember we would be playing football and somebody would hear their dad's car or they would be told your dad is coming and they would run home. Wajipanguze miguna maji, opake vaseline and they hold their books like they were doing some serious homework. Yeah. Was it like that for you growing up? Because for me it was very different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was, uh, I think dads are generally a bit more firm, <laughs> but we did not scamper. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> we did not uh, run back home. Mm -hmm. I, uh, it wasn't scary. It wasn't scary. But there was, there was order. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think, I okay. think that, that, that is how I describe it. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't so for me. Uh -huh. And my dad is an easy father. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's the one you run to. Oh, he's the one you run to. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Why is this conversation on anger management for parents an important conversation? I think, number one, we're human. Mm -hmm. And we're imperfect beings. Ooh. Right? Mm -hmm. So we, we make mistakes. And uh, life pushes us. And sometimes even no matter how much we love our kids, mm -hmm. and despite good intentions, mm -hmm. Sometimes you're tired, mm -hmm. sometimes you're just so burnt out yeah. that yeah. your body and your mind can't take anymore. And so the version of you that your children experience is not the version you plan to, to offer to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think just the fact that we're human, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. and anger is a human emotion, okay. mm -hmm. whether you're a parent or not. Okay. We all deal with anger mm -hmm. every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. That being the case, mm -hmm. at what point as a parent should I be concerned that mm. maybe this anger issue of mine is a bit overboard because we all get angry mm. even though we react differently when we are angry mm. Mm. as a parent at what point should i start being concerned i think it's when you start exhibiting signs like uh, shouting over uh, punishment abuse uh -huh. and people around you start telling you things like uh, that was unnecessary Mm. You, are, you are listening to people around you and they are telling you, I think you shouldn't have done that. Even your own children will tell you, I think you, mom, mom that was harsh. Or they will withdraw. Mm -hmm. Whichever uh, option they take, you will know. And then as a parent, the good thing to do is to seek help. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes... <laughs> they don't know how much I'm struggling to give them this life. Mm. And they're not following orders. And mm. so you snap. Mm. Yeah, you feel you're justified. Uh, For sure. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. use the road to drive out foolishness from mm. this child. But yeah. become our ski. Mm. So if you have a stubborn child, mm. how then again do you now navigate through all that? I think the question first to ask is, are there Vichwangumu children? Mm. Or uh. do we need, is, is it, <laughs> or are we just, uh, is it, number one, is it a normal part of child development? Mm. Okay. That doesn't fit in an adult world. Mm. Oh. You know, so you're, you're tired, you've worked all day, yeah. a child has been doing what they're supposed to do. Mm. A child of five is doing what a five-year-old is supposed to do. Yeah. But your world and the carefree world of the child do mm. not blend. Yeah. You oh. know, mm -hmm. and so the question I guess uh, we need to begin asking is: Is it are there really children who are vichwangomo, mm -hmm. or are there mm -hmm. children just doing mm -hmm. childhood Child things? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then uh, maybe we need to be you know to keep learning about child development. Number one, mm -hmm. and number two, we need to get support mm -hmm. as adults and as parents. Okay. Mm -hmm because our world is also you know it, it's tough mm. and so sometimes tough and carefree <laughs> mm. don't mm -hmm. match mm. yeah mm. Uh, so i think the 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 part 
where we as adults and as parents we can have conversations is yeah. so how do we support each other mm. Mm. so that no, we, the, the adult world that's really complex and mm. sometimes really tough yeah. is not leaking into the children's world mm. Mm. and so mm. because we are tired and we are overwhelmed and we are impatient we don't see it as an adult stress mm. oh. we see it as children just not aligning mm. to make our world easier okay yeah so I don't believe there are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. mm. I do b know, I do believe and I know yeah. that the, a child can have behavioral issues. Yeah. Mm. But you see, when you say mtoto mm. kichongumu, it's branding an identity. Mm. Mm. And yet behavioral mm. issues are not permanent. It's, they it's change. They yes, can be corrected. Yes. Behavior changes. Yeah. Even mm. I am not in my best behavior or version of myself. Mm. 24 7, seven yes. 365 days a year Very true. so should i be branded an angry person just because uh, today i you know i responded in anger mm -hmm. does that become my identity or am i a person who has all the emotions and sometimes i'm stressed mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm a stressed person but does that become my identity or is it just a face and part of human nature okay yeah. Last week on Friday, we were talking about um, the journey of self-discovery. Mm. I'm just curious whether this also applies to parenting, mm. so that I'm aware of the issues and the things that trigger my anger, mm. so that I know how to manage myself when I'm around my children. Yeah, that is very important, and uh -huh. self-awareness will help you manage yourself, know the triggers, uh, what do uh, in different situations, mm -hmm. what how do I respond to certain issues. For example, there are people who like to be hard. And if you're not hard or your child does not seem to obey, mm -hmm. then you snap. And you'll realize it's almost the same when you go to your workspace. When you, and maybe s let's say you're a boss yeah. and you're telling your people, your, the people you work with, this is what I want done by 4 p.m. And they don't do that. Mm -hmm. So you snap. So it's the same thing that is translating. So if you know you're uh, trans translating at home, if you know your triggers, that will be a good place to start mm -hmm. from. Also, uh, in check your family of origin. Where do you come oh. from? Because some of these things are learned behaviors. Mm -hmm. So you'll see your dad was snapping, your mother was snapping, and it seemed like it was the way uh, anger was a solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everybody in your family responded that way. It became normalized to you. Now you're an adult and you believe. In fact, somebody was asking me, is there a way you can parent without anger? Mm. Because many people don't think you can actually yeah. not shout. Yeah. Yeah, and so when you uh, check your family of origin, you check your triggers, what expectations you have, what your desires are, your yearnings, because we all have yearnings. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you have that dream that you want achieved. So interrogate those things. Then you'll be able to pinpoint mm -hmm. where your anger stems from and then you'll be able to deal with that. Okay. Awareness is, I think, over half the problem is solved okay. with awareness. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you talk about family, some of us justify <coughs> our anger. Sisi mm. kwetu we just lose our temper. Mi na ingine. I've had people say that, yeah. you know, somebody once said, don't lose your temper because when you do, somebody else finds it. Yeah. And it's not a very good experience. Uh, yeah. uh. So for those who justify, uh. Uh, uh. in uh. fact, there are people who justify that their tribe. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like uh. that justifies. So mm. I'm not responsible for my actions. This mm. is just who we are. Mm. Uh, can that hold water? Uh, for sure, most of the things we even call generational curses yeah. and cultural pro issues, mm. they are learned behaviors. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we need to be doing is to want to be better because, for example, the Bible says that anger lies in the bosom of fools. Yes. So uh, there's a lot of foolishness in anger. So mm. when you look at how you responded in your anger, you will actually regret at some point. Mm -hmm. But like she said, uh, Esther said, anger is a, is a natural emotion, but it's a secondary emotion. Mm. Mm. It's a secondary emotion. So there's an underlying uh, need, like mm -hmm. I mentioned, an expectation that you had. And so if you don't interrogate that, and that could be passed on from generation to generation. generation. Yeah. Okay. So your parents thought this is how I would want my life to look like yeah. and then it didn't happen. They developed anger as a coping mechanism, mm -hmm. transferred it to their children. The mm -hmm. children also picked that as the way we cope with things and then they keep trans. So it, it becomes messier. Mm -hmm. So it's important for somebody to stop that. Okay. Yeah. How does this affect a child? 
you know, from, from your perspective as a uh, counseling psychologist and you deal with children, children who are brought up in homes where the parents are angry, they shout a lot, mm -hmm. or they have tendencies of being violent, they throw things around, mm -hmm. how does that affect a child? Um, first of all, everything a child knows mm -hmm. is learned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens by magic. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever a child is exposed to is what they know. Mm -hmm. And you see, mm -hmm. the limitations of childhood is such that I c the child cannot go to explore the next family mm -hmm. to yeah. find out yeah. that things can be done differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a child's understanding is limited to their exposure mm -hmm. and to the environments that mm -hmm. they're exposed to, which is largely family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, because not so much school. I mean, when you talk about the foundational mm. nature of a child, that mm. is family, That's family, right? Yeah. Mm. And so to remember that, then that is who we customize them mm. to be because that's all they know. Mm. Mm. And it doesn't mean that parents bring children into this world intending mm. to pass negative yeah. attributes mm. to yeah. them. Yeah. It's just, I think, when, when you become aware mm. that the parts of me that I'm struggling with, and we all have parts of ourselves that mm. we're struggling. As Edna has said, we all also come from families. Yeah. Mm. Nobody came from a perfect family. No. Mm. It's, it's a fallacy. Mm. <laughs> you know? no. So we, we all have parts of ourselves that are broken. We all have parts of ourselves that have trauma, even mm. if we don't think it, it, it is trauma. Mm. Um, we all have parts of ourselves that could be different. We just mm. don't know that yeah. what we know is normal mm. doesn't have to be mm. normal. Mm. You know, like we're talking about justifying mm. tribal characteristics. Mm. Mm. Those are just, um, mm. it's just limited to environment. Mm. So you grew, your parents were brought up in a certain community mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, there's a general habit of people who live yeah. together tend to have, you know, mm. yeah. copy uh, uh, behaviors. Mm. But to then the child learned or does not learn how to emotionally regulate. Mm. Emotional oh. regulation is learned. Okay. Mm. And it can only be learned by mirroring, by copying. Okay. Mm. So a child sees how you talk. Mm. And because they don't have a, another script, remember you are the core script. Mm -hmm. So that's all. Th they assume that's what life is and that's mm. how it, c it has to be done. Yeah. because they don't know otherwise so mm. then that and that's the reason why we all have uh, we all have struggles because we also mirrored from our places of origin yes. yeah. our families yeah so emotional regulation in has it does not uh, is not learned mm -hmm. in a in a household where there is shouting where mm. there is violence um and then number two just uh, empathy because you see, mm. empathy is also learned yes. by being received. Yes. Mm. You, a child cannot understand kindness mm. if they're not receiving kindness. kindness because yeah. kindness is just a word. Mm. I could tell you a word in a foreign language and you'd still stare at me blankly because True. it has no meaning. It has no meaning. Mm. Yes. Mm. So a lot of words that have action only become relevant if there's action accompanying it for it to have meaning. Okay. Mm. So, you know, kindness is, is something that a child has to learn and they can only learn by seeing it. Mm -hmm. uh, patience is something that mm -hmm. a child has to learn and they can only learn by being accorded patience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the, the, the reality that children can only learn what we're offering to them. Wow. And so the, 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 the flip side is true. Mm -hmm. If what we're offering to them is, is not positive, mm -hmm. then that's also what they learn. That's okay. Mm. I'm very curious mm. uh, because I usually hear teachers mm. uh, can know what's happening in our homes as they interact with our mm. children mm. in school. Mm. So is it possible for a teacher to know that this child comes from a house where people are shouted at, anger is not managed because of how this child is dealing with mm. the colleagues in mm. the class? Is it possible? Yes, because unlike you and I, James, uh -huh. I, I am not limited to interactions with my primary family. Yeah. Mm. I, can I, mean, I can interact as an adult with as many people mm. around the globe as possible. Yeah. Mm. So I can learn from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But you see a child because they're limited to interactions in the family. And mm. so their knowledge is limited to just that. Mm -hmm. You cannot give more than you know. True. Mm. And mm. so that's all they know. So wherever they go, whatever they know mm -hmm. is what they're going to offer the world. So mm. if shouting is all you know, when mm. you go to school, you're shouting mm -hmm. at your peers. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, you know, using uh, demeaning words is something you know, yeah. because it's natural to you, it's what you're referred to, mm. then you don't know that it's not the right thing. A child mm. doesn't have the ability to know that yeah. being called stupid, they're not stupid. Mm -hmm. it's so only, then they it's can what easily... They hear, it's yes, what they will. Yes, yes. And, you know, we forget that for children, through their eyes, uh -huh. we are perfection, we are it. We are mm -hmm. uh, what 
the world is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. So they cannot assume that what you're doing is wrong. Yeah. At an instinctive level, they will feel. Mm -hmm. Even a, a, a child who is non-verbal, a three-month-old baby who can talk, yeah. will cry. They can sense. Uh -huh. They can sense cruelty, and they can sense a lack of safety. Yes. And not just physical, even emotional. Okay. But they do not have the ability then to translate that and know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does this then affect? the family dynamic, mm -hmm. because uh, there's the parent-child relationship, mm -hmm. but if you have siblings, how does this now affect the dynamics in the family and how people relate mm -hmm. if one or both parents mm -hmm. are just angry all the time? Um, I'm thinking that first the children mm -hmm. are going to withdraw from uh, the parents and they are going to find their greatest influence mm -hmm. from their peers mm -hmm. and uh, you are not going to be able to connect with those children emotionally okay which is a sad thing and then this is now where we get other problems mm -hmm. like so low self-esteem drug mm -hmm. issues depression suicidal thoughts ideations and finally for some unfortunately they even commit suicide. Mm -hmm. So if not managed, anger if not managed, can be very catastrophic, more than we even want to imagine. Mm -hmm. And there is such a coldness in that family, such a fear, I, I mean, uh, that people can't, it's not, the environment is not conducive, mm -hmm. even for people that are around you. Okay. So it is important that we continue to work. I, I would encourage parents to continue working, learning more on what anger is and how they can manage it. And mm -hmm. there is the 90-10 rule that talks about 10% of who you are is what has happened to you. But 90% mm -hmm. is how you respond to what has to happened, what has happened to, to, to you. you. Yeah, so you don't live in that traumatic space or mm -hmm. you don't live in that space saying, this is who I am, this is what uh, we do in our tribe, in our family. Yeah, yeah. But you actually want to be better. The 90% lies mm -hmm. on you. So you can see there's a lot of uh, control that you have over this issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What happens when one of the parents, mm. your eyes you could you contain? Mm. Yeah. Mm. One parent is angry they mm. blow up easily mm. the other parent is sober yeah. cool calm and yeah. collected yeah. it's like good cop bad cop yeah <laughs> how do you handle that for that parent who has anger issue mm -hmm. uh, an anger issue is to reparent themselves you said it's mostly mothers <laughs> so <it's> mothers <laughs> shout a lot <laughs> <laughs> but fathers also but let's say mothers mm. they shout a lot mm. and maybe fathers also over uh, punish over punish yeah, yes and, uh, yes and abuse uh, you know you mm. say things i mean you can even say things that are you are an idiot you know mm. things yeah. that are really hurtful na 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 mzae wa mzito yeah they, those words never you know like the way you cut a tree and then there's a ring yes this a pass, this child when becomes they become an adult they have those, they rings, have those rings of from kitambo yes so for me i encourage parents to reparent themselves uh -huh. reparenting yourself <laughs> You, <laughs> you, you go <laughs> can a man be, <laughs> can a man be reparented? Yes. Uh, it's going back to your inner child. Okay. Like that ring, we all have the layers mm. of our past and everything. So you go back and you start looking at those rings. Uh, what did I lack? Uh, there is an insecurity around me. Mm. Is it that I did not get, my parent was not available? Is it that they were not reliable? Is it that they not, did not emotionally engage with me? You go to those rings and now you start redoing your your life mm -hmm. remember the 90 percent still is yeah. in your control yeah and you'd be so amazed if you actually faced yourself in the mirror and said i'm going to work on these things you'd be amazed how you actually can grow and become a better person mm -hmm. yeah you're watching parenting tuesday today we're talking about parenting and anger management mm -hmm. i want to give you an opportunity to ask questions mm -hmm. Musingo J Mbaka 755. <laughs> and then you throw me like 15 questions. I will not be able to answer them. So yeah. if you have a question, please send it in now yeah. on 20316 for SMS and WhatsApp 0786 316 316. Remember, we are hanging out with Pastor Edna Kimani from uh, Karura Chapel. She's a marriage and family therapist. And we also have Esther Kinudia, a child counseling psychologist. So send in your questions. The experts are here. <laughs> violence mm. where children are concerned mm. there's a story we've had many stories mm. yeah mm. Uh, in fact going back to the mother's shout and fathers of a punish we've mm. had stories of men who 
kill their children, mm. kill the wife, kill themselves. Mm. There was a story of a, of a mother who, she couldn't find her money. I think it was 50 bob or something oh like that. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of money. Mm. And she was so angry because she believed the child had taken it. Akamfunga mikono, akamfunga na polythin, akamwagia mafuta na akawasha. Only for her to find the money later. I'm even wondering how to phrase this question. Mm. But what are your thoughts about those extremes? Mm. When parents get to the extreme that they are so angry to the point of physically mm. injuring their children. Mm. Mm. I think basically that's the extreme of anger. Mm -hmm. You see, even anger has a spectrum. Mm. Oh, it because, has a spectrum. Yes, mm. because displeasure mm. can get you feeling angry mm. internally, mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily have to act it out. True. I can offend you, but True. you don't necessarily have, have to, to insult me. Mm. You don't. You do not have to act yeah. it out. Mm. Most of the time, we manage to have emotional regulation. Mm. So you sit with it, you process it mm. without having to displace it mm. on other people okay. or having to react. Mm. Reaction is that immediate default mm -hmm. setting. Mm. Response is where you have thought through it, you've processed it, mm. and so even if you felt you know, you were very, very angry. Mm. You took some time out, yeah. thought about it, calmed down, and then you come back and tell me, Esther, I did not appreciate it. Now that's that's responding. Mm. So there's a difference uh -huh. between reacting mm. and, and responding. responding. Okay. Yes. So where um, emotional regulation has is is not put in place properly, and where we are unable to regulate our anger, mm -hmm. then the extremes happen because that that was a reaction. Mm. That was, I'm angry in the moment and, you know, my frustration and is a, has hit the roof. And so in a moment of anger, extreme yeah. anger, you do something you, you wouldn't do if mm. you were, you know, calm and sober. You, mm. who, who burns there, you know? Surely. No loving parent yeah. burns yeah. their child yeah. over. And so, but unfortunately also because we also have to look at children and their well-being. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we understand that parents, we are all broken and we are all working on ourselves. And we all have parts of ourselves that are not perfect, that we are continuously working on. Keyword True. is continuously. Mm. Because there's no, there's no arriving. Mm -hmm. You know, we are continuously working on ourselves. But then, as we are doing that, if we are harming a child, somebody has to protect that child. True. Mm. And so that's where the law comes in. Mm -hmm. Where now that there's, there's, there's an extreme, which mm. is, because we all, once in a while as parents, you know, you'll snap at your child. Mm. And then you realize, oh boy, that, that, was, that was inappropriate. Yeah. And Often, if, if, you, if you're on a journey of working on yourself, you'll mm -hmm. be able to apologize mm -hmm. and have a conversation with the children because it's also the, the flip side of it. On one side, you're feeling guilty because we all hope you're perfect. Yeah. No parent hopes that they'd be shouting at their children. True. But also what it teaches children, if we are working on our, sel on our self-awareness, mm -hmm. is it teaches children that even parents can be imperfect. This is how mm -hmm. you handle, this is how you do a comeback. Yeah. You can say, do or say something offensive or you do something wrong mm. this is how you can hold a constructive conversation okay mm. and also it shows that making an error doesn't mean i don't love you mm -hmm. you see so having conversations with children that as long as they are verbal uh -huh. there is a way you can have an age-appropriate conversation okay you know with a child even a three-year-old you can say i'm so sorry that i shouted that was so wrong Mm. Wow. I wasn't supposed to shout at you. That takes humility from a parent, yes. Yes. especially yes. an African parent. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I wasn't supposed to shout at you. Yeah. I love you. Just know I also make mistakes. I'm not proud of them. I'm mm. working on them. If you're a Christian, even talk about, you know, I'm, I'm asking God to help me work on this. Yeah. Mm. Even maybe include it in your prayer so yes. that children can understand Thanks. sometimes when you're struggling mm. with something, mm. you can ask God for help and he can help you. He's helping mom. He's helping dad. Yeah. But also don't use it to abuse so that now you keep doing the same thing and, and praying. Keep praying. And yeah, because they are they're extreme. They will, they will even lose their faith mm. in God. Yeah. So, but with child abuse, the law comes in. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The law must come in to rescue yeah. the children. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where will you end a group of schools? Anger. 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 I am issues. very Kenyan. Yeah. The rest anger. of us went to, to schools in groups. <laughs> as we are saying, anger. <laughs> <laughs> Questions are coming in. There's one here that says, Good morning. I'm bitter because of the struggles I have gone through in life. Mm. I have anger issues and my son is traumatized. Mm. He's seven now and he shouts back at me. Please help. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Number one is forgive, forgiveness. We mm -hmm. are also traumatized. 
you know we all have wounds yeah mm. so also you did not a lot of the the rings that edna is talking about mm. they formed as you were doing life we didn't yeah. we didn't choose you didn't wake up and choose to have rings that are not healthy mm. Mm. so i think and I, and I, it's difficult to do and i think i feel like also um as parents the more you repeat the same mistake the harder it gets to forgive yourself mm. because mm -hmm. we expect that if you're forgiving yourself then you should find mm. quickly mm. transition to perfection and yeah. never make that mistake again yeah. mm. and then now get help if you if if it's something that you feel is out of control okay. get help from a professional a counselor okay you know mm. so that you work through your wounds mm -hmm. so as you work through the, your wounds then you're able and the counselor will help you to work through your wounds mm -hmm. but also equip you on how to um Cope. how to how to recover mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you've lost with okay. your child okay. you would be surprised the power of a parent mm. Mm. and what healing can do mm. i i mean i have seen parents who are who who parents whose children are grown ups mm -hmm. mm. and there's recovery mm. oh. because it means you get to a point where you're saying i am so sorry i mm. i understand that i i went wrong on this and this mm. and this and because of that this was your experience and also when you're being given feedback by children don't, yeah, be, defensive. don't be defensive that was mm. their experience yeah. with mm. you 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 don't appraise yourself and mm. then decide no but i was a good yeah. i was a good mom yeah. was a good dad and then people do comebacks and also having an open conversation okay. this this came from also how i was raised at that mm. point i didn't know any better mm. but i have worked on it and and understand that doing a comeback and recovering doesn't mean that now the experiences are erased no yeah. the memories uh, you know I our memories that. have those experiences mm. but memories do also get replaced with better memories okay. they don't get deleted but they, but they can get replaced ah. yeah liz is asking <laughs> but see you can take this one mm. with this current generation z <laughs> they always think they know everything can we truly avoid slapping them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are mesema ni violence. Eh, ni violence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, her, it's, her question is valid mm -hmm. because you can really be provoked. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, but uh, the Bible talks about provocation mm -hmm. in Ephesians chapter 6. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, the parents are the ones who are told not to provoke their children, children too, yes. <laughs> surprisingly. Yeah. Uh, so for that question i would say it's true gen z are very strong-headed people just mm -hmm. the way like the way the other generations have mm -hmm. been at that mm -hmm. age yeah? mm -hmm. so mine would be to tell this parent to um again um there's a difference between assertiveness and abuse mm -hmm. and punishment is allowed in scripture mm -hmm. But their line there, assertive, assertiveness and abuse, yeah. the line has to be very clear. Oh, yeah. So that this child is not coerced, criticized, mm -hmm. and then they turn out to be even worse True. than they were. But assertive, ass assertiveness is where you are telling this child, this is who I am as a mother, as a father. I am congruent and I am firm. In this house, you see, the other thing that I also wanted to weigh in mm -hmm. uh, on is that one thing that African parents do not do is that they do not lay down their expectations oh. for the family, the rules for the family. Yeah. So this Gen Z has come in with a girlfriend or mm -hmm. a boyfriend, mm. and you're there throwing hot water on them. Surely. But you never uh, even educated this child on uh, their emotions, their feelings, mm. on what is not allowed and what is allowed. So as parents, uh, learn to communicate your expectations and clearly, clearly. and layer it, keep layering mm -hmm. that expectation or expectations to your children. Mm -hmm. And that is something that African parents do not do. Mm. They just punish. And this child is wondering, what did I even do? Or uh, how bad was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just keep communicating to them. Okay. And they forget. Okay. Keep reminding them. Mm. I'm just uh, sorry just yeah. to add on to that we need to be careful about stereotypes mm. Mm -hmm. you know mm. the assumption that the older Maybe. generations are better children yes. and mm. the oh current yes. generation we need oh to be yes. very because when you stereotype somebody mm. you see now you're you're handling them based on the script of who you believe mm. they are you're mm. not seeing an individual yeah. you're true. not seeing a human being mm. and every generation says that of the next are of the, yeah yes. every even even that is different what was it crazy yeah. We didn't have the internet, so yes, our you know the things we were dealing with were yeah. different. Were different yeah. That doesn't mean we were better. Very and true. also yeah. the other thing is the issue of temperaments. Mm -hmm. mm. 
uh, all children are not the same. Yeah. There are some who are responsible from when they are little. Mm. They are able to respond very fast yeah. to uh, in, what to mm. instructions. Mm. Then there are those ones who like to explore oh and yes. they want to push boundaries. They want to push boundaries. Yeah. So as a parent, it's for you to uh, parent these children yeah. with that knowledge that they have their different temperaments. Okay. Mm. I know I have anger issues. I was not brought up well. Uh, there was a lot of competition, resentment, mm. and hostility in my family mm. as I was growing up. I try to regulate myself, but sometimes fail. I feel broken inside sometimes after I, I snap at my kids. It's not easy. Yeah. What would you tell this mother? First, they're a good parent because mm. a, a bad parent wouldn't feel guilty. Mm. Yeah. You see, we, we, we need to understand that good mm -hmm. parents... And loving parent does mm. not mean you're perfect all the time. And you're right. It means you actually have the awareness mm. to feel bad yes. about the times when you fail. Yeah. Mm. That's and that's good. that's that's fifty percent of the journey. That's good. Yeah. yeah. The the rest of the fifty percent is now you're getting help yes. to work through it mm. because you're already willing to mm. be better. You do not want to stay as you are. As you are. Yeah. Mm. So they're okay. they're a good parent. That's yeah, that's yeah. something to hold. At least they know where the issue yes. is. Mm. Yes. But now it's just engaging to find mm. help. Mm. Great conversation. My dad was the one with anger issues. He was easily irritated. And as a child I always feared doing things because if I messed up, I didn't want to be shouted at. I noticed this affected me because as an adult, I battled people-pleasing tendency because mm. I didn't want to offend people. And it's been so hard breaking the cycle. What would you say about this? Does anger produce people-pleasing children or children who are afraid to make mistakes? It does. Mm. It, it does, does eh? Yeah. Mm. Or the opposite. Mm. Oh. Mm. No, the opposite. Okay. Violent children. Mm. Wow. Mm. So these people, please, how do you break free from that? I think just coming to terms with the fact that there was a power dynamic. Mm -hmm. So naturally, you're bound to feel intimidated. Mm. First, a parent is an adult. So there's yeah. already the physical intimidation. Yeah. Mm. And then now to top that up, it's a man. Men are naturally more intimidating than women. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's already a double you know, yeah. unfortunate situation. Yeah. Mm. And then naturally children want to keep peace. So if we don't work on ourselves to regulate ourselves, mm. the default is children feel that it's their job mm -hmm. to maintain mm. the peace. So if me sitting in a corner and not just rattling anything yeah. Yeah. means we have a peaceful, quiet night, that's what a child does. Uh, so the people pleasing comes from just wanting to maintain, to peace, maintain the peace, which means based on her temperament and the environment, uh, he is it a he or a she? Uh, their mm. temperament, based on the environment, the way in their temperament, caused them to default into keeping into the keep peace. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And underlying, uh, there could be low self-esteem. Yeah. 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 Good morning, Pansy and the guest. This topic has come at the right time for me. My spouse is facing the danger of losing his job. Come next month. I've noticed that he's becoming easily irritated when you mention money. Yes. Trigger. This morning he has shouted at our daughter who was asking for money for school fund day. Mm. As they close, how do I help him overcome this? Mm. Mm. Let me say something as a man. Mm. <laughs> when you cannot provide... I think one of the greatest fears for many men mm -hmm. is to be at a place where you can no longer provide for your family. Okay. And so if you stand the risk of losing your job, the man is trying to process so many things. Mm. And when you mention money, the thought in his mind is, you guys don't even understand what, mm. what is before us. Mm. You guys don't even seem to care. Mm. Uh, you guys, it can get to a place a man can feel like you're mocking him. Mm. Because you know the situation I am in, mm. and you're asking me for money. Mm. For fun day. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking about how we will eat next month. Mm. I'm thinking about the rent for next month. I'm thinking about your school fees. You're asking for fun day. Mm. I think it's just in how you approach, especially now for you as a wife. Mm. Letting him know that you understand what he's going through. Mm. Yeah. I think for me, speaking from a man's perspective, Correct. that brings in a lot of reassurance. Mm. Yeah. I know we are challenged. Mm. I know things are not stable. And we are believing God that things will get better. Mm. But even as we believe that, is it possible to mm. find something for mm. 
because when you just ask, mm. that's just my perspective, mm. the professionals will tell us what they think. <laughs> yeah. If you just, I need money for this, I'm thinking, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Did I just tell you yesterday, mm. I'm not even sure whether we have a salary next mm. month. But if you come with the understanding that I know things are tough, and I'm praying for you, and I'm believing God will open a door, but is there a way we can do this and this mm. and this? Mm. I think that would be more, mm. uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He will appreciate that and maybe not react. I don't know what the both of you would think. My understanding was the child asked for money. Yeah, what the child, mean? yes, yes. the child who okay. asked for money. Okay, because yeah. if the child asked for money, now mm. that's the tricky bit. It's not, the child is not responsible for understanding about Very where true. rent and food yeah. and yeah. it's coming mm. from. Mm. But I do, I do, I do agree with you. If the adults can hold space for each other, mm. then there, there's a, you, you're able to see the child as a, someone who shouldn't be party mm -hmm. to their frustrations. Or a child, they, they can understand. You can have conversations with children and tell them, we may not be able to afford a lot of things. Yeah. But are they also supposed to go to school and be the only child who can't afford the, no, the, the, you know, the snack for? Yeah. So I think the, the anger displacement where mm. if we can find adult support mm -hmm. amongst ourselves, mm. you see? So if you're a couple, then that support towards each other exactly. makes you be able to shield mm. each other. And because you have support, you're not feeling like you're carrying the weight and the fear of it alone, mm -hmm. then you're able to approach a child when they ask without re reacting. Reacting. Without yeah. snapping. Because that just was a be reaction. Able to, yeah, to, mm. to say, I, if you don't have money, be able to say it nicely. Yeah. Because they, the child didn't commit. The child it, has no understanding of all those things. Yeah. For asking, they're supposed to ask. Mm. Because if they don't ask, ask you, who else will they ask? They're supposed to ask us, mm. yes. If it's not you, yes. who else mm. will they but ask? But mm. also, to, to help the, 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 the couple and the man understand that they, the fear of losing, mm. of losing the ability to provide for is so valid. Mm. Mm. You know, so we're not downplaying yeah. the fear mm. and just how overwhelming that situation can be. Mm -hmm. is, is just saying that if we can then support each other as adults, the, the trauma of that doesn't tickle down to children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Many questions are coming in and we don't have time. Maybe <laughs> how we can wrap it up is... For those who recognize they have anger issues, mm. where do they go to for help? They go to a family therapists, counselors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I recommend family therapists because they are able to trace the anger mm -hmm. back from uh, uh, to the root. The root to yeah. the root. Yeah, remember the rings we talked about. Yes. they are able to see where it's coming from and address that. Mm -hmm. And like we said, these are some uh, these are learned behaviors. And there are many marriage family therapists, child yeah. psychologists, mm -hmm. counselors. They are there and they are willing to help. They are trained to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Same question. Well, I, yeah. I, I concur with what Edna has oh, said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. really just get help. Get help. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's doable. Yeah, exactly. so, so. Mm. Imagine my time is up. Mm. Oh, is I wish it? we had like another half an hour, <laughs> 45 minutes yeah. to go through all these questions. Okay. But I believe mm. what we've shared has been beneficial. Mm. Thank you so much for coming, mm. both you of you. Us, I truly appreciate. Mm. Thank you for having me. Azazi, you breathe in fast, you breathe out. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mr. Husband, take a walk around the block. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And That's then the come thing. back. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you your anger mm. hey, the effects mm. can be for a lifetime that's true our time is up i need to shut it down thank you so much for being a part of this if you've not downloaded the family media app i want to encourage you go to the google play store or the apple store download the app there's a lot of great content that you will get there all these conversations we have on the show we put them there so that you can access them at the time you need to access them until next week have a good day God bless. for watching remember subscribe 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 to our youtube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content